Welcome back. The realm of beauty knows no gender boundaries. In fact, men are leveling up their grooming game and embracing skincare like never before. Z News videographer Darren Maharaj has been out in the field exploring all the ins and outs of the latest trends for men. Take a look. My question is, is it uncool to get a manicure? Or do you get manicures? Or can I just, you know, tell my friends that it is cool? I not only think it's cool, I think it's necessary. And my buddy Steve is far from the only one who thinks that. And it doesn't stop at manicures either. <laughs> or waxes or tickling pedicures. These days you'll find more and more guys like me in places like this. Medical clinics and spas offering the latest in cosmetic treatments, including Botox and fillers. And according to many of the experts, the pandemic and social media are to blame. It's, it's a, it really is a major increase. I'd say now about 30 to 40 percent of my clientele um, are, are men. I think a number of factors are doing it, but mainly the social media uh, exposure is causing this. The Zoom phenomena in the sense that uh, they're seeing themselves on camera for the first time. They're seeing all that scowl and all the uh, wrinkles on the forehead, and they want to get uh, rid of all those lines that are uh, uh, giving them that aging appearance. In terms of yourself, you've got a very good uh, facial, central facial uh, uh, shape. You've got very good lower uh, facial shape. You've got a little wee bit of bulging um, in this area. Uh-oh. Okay. So to fix that bulging, which Dr. G says is a result of grinding my teeth at night, he's injecting me with Botox, which he says is commonly used not just for crow's feet, but 30 to 40% of his clients use it for medical reasons like this. You've got a, a little wee bit of hollowness in the temple areas. Because of that, you're getting a little bit of drooping of your eyebrows. And for that, the good doctor prescribed a small amount of filler called Juvederm. Fillers are comprised of hyaluronic acid, which makes up about 80% of the uh, cell material of our body. Well, if we take a look at your before and after pictures, you'll see that we raised your eyebrow um, about one millimeter approximately. So it gives a little bit more pop. Another major trend that men and women are using are IV drips in the form of what's known as NAD therapy. This vitamin, in combination with antioxidants and more, has become hugely popular. It used to be that in the past, NAD was only available through like the stars and the athletes. Harvard researcher David Sinclair has found out through his studies that NAD has the potential of reversing or optimizing a healthy aging process. I want you guys to meet my neighbor. This is John. Hey. Hi, everybody. John is a... I just a, woke uh, up from the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I think I woke him up. I was making too much noise. <laughs> Anyways, John and his... Uh, is your wife over wife there with Diana, you? Yeah. And, uh, you know, they say the couple that drips together stays together. We find that uh, nutritional results through the intravenous is uh, much more effective than something orally and uh, gives us good energy and it's, uh, it's a, kind of an expensive thing and we're fortunate enough to be able to afford it and uh, we're gonna keep, keep doing it as long as it feels good. Okay, I just got unhooked and to be honest, when I first started, yeah, my chest felt kind of tight, throat felt uncomfortable, I felt a little tired, but it passed and uh, a few hours later, boom, I feel really good. So, IV therapy, NADS, thumbs up. What do you guys say? Definitely thumbs up. Now to a non-invasive trend that is all the rage on the celebrity scene, a BBL light treatment. It's really popular with men and what it's doing is it's using a broadband light spectrum to stimulate collagen, smooth out fine lines and wrinkles, tighten loose skin and improve brown spots and redness. The BBL treatment is summer safe so we can do it all through the summertime which isn't affected by sun exposure or extreme heat like many other treatments. That was, uh, it's not what I was expecting. Really, eh? <laughs> no, I had no idea that it, oh, uh, there was any sort of pain tolerance involved. Oh, wow. One, two, three. If you see a tear fall, just wipe it away. <laughs> wow, my face feels like it's on fire right now, and I think it kind of looks it. Uh, Madeline says that the redness and swelling should go down within 24 hours, but it will take two weeks before I see the full results of the BBL treatment. And that's commonplace for most treatments that are out there. And that's why experts always say it's important not to expect big changes overnight. And Darren joins us now at the round table. You're uh, 
Still in recovery, Darren. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> I mean, do not be alarmed. This is completely normal. But, you know, the redness and the swelling went away uh, within probably like uh, half a day. And then this is now about two days since I had the treatment done. And according to the good people at uh, North Medical Spa, this is absolutely normal. I've got a little bit of extra melanin in my system. Yes, so you so should make you note that the, the darker skinned people, we get the fun stuff that and happens. I was with you <laughs> yesterday and it was much more prominent. Right, so we're already seeing some improvements. What's said to happen is, I guess, within seven days, all the spots where they worked on me here will dry up, flake off, and reveal a fresh face, just like you'll see in these before and after uh, photos. You can see it's really quite phenomenal. Yeah. I couldn't tell, actually, I needed that much work going in, but you'll see I, I well, put my head... Well, you didn't need in. anything. Well, <laughs> there is that machine, well, thank you for saying that, but there's that machine called the Vizia Scan right. that I put my face into, and it's it finds all the little nuances and all the things that the, the eye can't see naturally. Okay, but let me ask you, because you look quite comfortable getting all of these procedures done, even the Botox, and that's not something that is commonly associated with men. I mean, you maybe it's a double standard. I mean, when he was jabbing me with the needles, I wasn't completely ready for it, but also I didn't want to squeal, you know, like sound like a girl. I know, you know so I mean? many men who get oh, Botox You done. do? They're not as open about it. Like, women, we're so, like, for us, it's like I went to the dentist, I got some Botox. Men aren't <laughs> as open about it, but I know a ton of guys who are in their 50s who, you know, are just who doing, are doing it quietly. Okay. Quietly. Uh, there yeah. are two times in my 33 marriage, year marriage, that I've convinced my husband to have a pedicure. I've paid for it, I've offered the manicurist danger pay. <laughs> and I don't know if it's ever gonna happen again. He did it twice? Yeah. Well, he's probably well, not gonna like He once me. had his eyebrows tweezed for a photo and the screams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the waxing. Uh, the okay, tweezing's that's, worse. That's what gets Well, grooming, men. I feel like grooming is more common for men Okay, we've got some numbers here, okay? Oh, so, like, okay. I mean, this, you obviously don't know the full situation, what's happening with the fellas. You might have to talk to your, your better half, Blake. He'll advise, because according to the American <laughs> Society of Plastic Surgeons, um, Botox with men has increased by 182% yeah, from the year 2000 to 2020. In fact, last year, men's skincare was a $13 billion industry. Yeah. And the stars and the investors all know this. You know, it's expected to double, more than double, by the year 2030. It'll be $29 billion. That's why you see all these male celebrities now all have their own skincare line. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, for instance, Travis Barker, Harry Styles. Pharrell just released Pharrell one. Williams, yeah. Brad Pitt, um, Jared Leto, John Legend, even Michael Strahan has a line of skincare products because they know that's where the money's at. There's right a now. there's a rumor about something Tom Cruise does to his face. Yes. yes. What is it? I want to know. If you think this is extreme, <laughs> this is nothing compared to what somebody like some of these stars have done. It's and not a the lot baby of them skin thing, do is it? the bag drips. Justin Bieber, uh, Brad Pitt also does it. But Tom Cruise goes the extra from what I've heard and what I've read online. He does something with nightingale excrement. So it's a facial cream that contains bird poop. I use snail poop on my skin. <laughs> snail I use poop? snail excrete on my skin. Why? Oh, uh, it's good. a Korean beauty secret. And so it's snail essence that you put on, stop laughing, Marissa. No, no. It's <laughs> very <laughs> serious business. It's snail excrete and it's so good for your skin. Google it. I wow. have put breast milk on my face. But that's, that's good to too. <laughs> and it's your own breast milk, I would imagine. It's my own. Yeah. No sharesies there, right? Well, I've got a slug problem right now. I just need to step out my door, right? I I'll said snail, say... not slug. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, snails. Escargot, snail. can you eat them? Snails, I can eat them, but you can't eat the skincare. Uh, like those to me are two different delicacies. So one comes in the God. bottle that you can buy from any Korean beauty store or H Mart even. And it's called, I forget the name of the brand, I'll send it to you. It's really good though. Trust me, it's a it's a game changer. Okay, I need a, a disclaimer on my current face. I, I'm in the middle of cancer treatment. I'm not doing the normal things I do just like regular facials. I'm on steroids, so I don't normally look like this. I mean, I'm jowly here and much smoother than I would normally be. Uh, and not doing anything at all that I would 
normally do. Well, your skin looks fabulous. It actually yeah. does. Yeah. Right. And thank you, Richard, for his contouring skills. Well, you're beautiful inside and out, Liz. Oh, yes. Thank we love you. you. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.